Don't all shame our lives. Sorry, I didn't see you there, Frank. The last time you can <laughs> I'll miss that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. It was an honour to attend uh, the uh, inaugural Brent Kelly Hearts Under the Stars <coughs> Foundation dinner earlier this month. The foundation was formed to raise community awareness around the access to life-saving automated external defibrillators (AEDs). I'll refer to from on. I want to acknowledge and give credit to this new organisation. The Brent Kelly Foundation was formed by Lisa Kelly after her husband Brent, aged 39, passed away after suffering a severe heart attack at Fagan Park in May 2017. That was only 18 months ago. Brent, who had four children, aged four, seven, nine, eleven at the time, was jogging with his 11-year-old daughter, helping her train for a cross-country event. As Fagan Park is in a remote area of Sydney, it took ambulances considerable time to reach Brent. There was no defibrillator at the park, and sadly, he lost his life. The foundation, in his name, um, has a purpose to co collaborate, assist and influence all levels of government, the health, medical and research industry, corporations and community groups to allow every Australian access to a life-saving defibrillator when needed. The Foundation is working tirelessly to establish a proactive fundraising campaign to assist with the installation of defibr defibrillators with the ultimate goal of the Foundation to have a life-saving defibrillator installed across all key public spaces across the country. Um, but that, Mr President, they are more ambitious than that. Uh, they want to see defibrillators in police cars, in fire, fire engines, in taxis, uh, are common across the area. In fact, they're working on developing an app so you could locate a defibrillator quite close to where you are if it's needed. They're also working hard to educate and inform the public about the importance and vital role defibrillators play when a person has a sudden cardiac arrest and establish a nation, national awareness campaign on where and how individuals, businesses and community groups can locate the closest defibrillator in an emergency. It's hard to think about it, it's sad to think about it, but if there had been a defibrillator at the park or nearby, Brent may still be alive with us today. This is why our government is committed to ensuring that no other family has to go through what Brent's family has gone through. The Brent Kelly Foundation must have had a positive impact. Uh, in June 2017, uh, the Minister for Sports, Stuart Ayres, announced the Local Sports Defibrillator Grant Program. This will include more than two this will include more than 2,500 defibrillators installed across community sporting facilities over the next four years as part of a $4 million program. Clubs and councils are required to make a contribution of about 50 per cent in this purchase, up to a capped grant figure, uh, depending on the area of New South Wales they're in. For, far for the far west uh, remote areas, the government will contribute up to 75 per cent. The service providers for defibrillators are con contracted to supply an AED familiarisation and support training for at least six years after the purchase. In the first round of the program, over 420 applications for defibrillators were approved for sporting clubs and councils. The second round is closed and Minister Ayers has begun to announce the successful grant applications. The ultimate objective is to see an AED in every sporting facility across the state, and I think that's very laudable. I noted on social media only today members of parliament uh, um, um, with community organisations such as surf life saving clubs uh, um, announcing the um, awarding of grants. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the government on the local sports defibrillator grant program. This program is saving lives and is preventing avoidable deaths across the state. More than, th than 33,000 Australians experience cardiac arrest every year and early CP access to CPR and a defibrillator can influence survival rates by up to 75 per cent. One in ten Australians uh, um, die from a heart attack. Nearly 6,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests occur every year in New South Wales, and about a quarter of them occur in public places like parks and playing fields. That's why the local sports defibrillator program is a critical start to saving lives. One of the challenges for the foundation is to remove the fear of using a defibrillator. In fact, one uh, a defibrillator uh, was just demonstrated to me by Professor Jamie Vandenberg of the Victor Chang Cardiac in Research Institute on the night of the foundation dinner. Amazingly, the defibrillator, when simply opened, uh, instructs, uh, verbally instructs you on how to, how to apply it to save a life. I would like to commend the Brent Kelly Foundation on its hard work in raising public awareness and its advocacy for wider availability of defibrillators in public places. I would li also like to particularly uh, commend Brent's wife, Lisa, who spoke beautifully at the Foundation dinner about her husband and her work with the Foundation, which they founded in his name. Her dedication and commitment to educating the public about the importance of defibrillators is to be greatly admired.